Um, I know we've got the chair of Auckland Transport here for item number 10, uh, and she has to be gone by 2 o'clock, but I'm imagining that um, the Auckland Unitary Plan uh, plan change 17 will be pretty straightforward. So um, let's see if we can get through that um, without unnecessarily delaying it. Um, could I um, just check? I've got <coughs> Cosette Saville uh, on the line. Cosette, are you there? Yes, I am. Thank you. And John Duguid? John, have we got you on the line at the moment? Okay, I've got Megan Tyler and, and uh, here, so um, uh, in John's absence, uh, Megan will be able to answer any questions there. Um, just to get the resolution on the board, um, uh, Councillor Josephine Bartley, can I ask you to move it? Councillor Darby to second it, please. Thank you, Mr Mayor, happy to move. And Councillor Darby to second? Yes, all of it. Yep. Thank you. Um, so, uh, Cosette, if you can just briefly outline um, the paper to us. Um, I understand it's, uh, it's, it's pretty procedural. Um, it's making Plan Change 17 operative uh, because we've dealt with the uh, appeals before the, uh, before the court. Yes, thank you, Carl. Thank you, Mayor Goss. Um, I won't speak to the presentation. I'll just quickly cover off the um, main points of the report. So, kia ora koutou. My name is Cosette Seville, and as a planner and plans and places, I lead Plan Change 17. So this report is seeking approval from the Emergency Committee. Plan Change 17. Uh, Cosette, you're a little bit hard to... Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, no, you've come back in now. Is if you could just stay where you okay. are in relation to the mic, that would be great. Right. Thank you. Great. So this report is seeking approval from the Emergency Committee to make Plan Change 17 to the Auckland Unitary Plan fully operative. Plan Change 17 is a council-initiated plan change, and it was developed to address errors and anomalies within the Auckland Unitary Plan GIS Viewer. Plan Change 17 was one of four council-initiated plan changes which sought to fix inconsistencies that had been identified within the plan. Um, sorry, Cosette, uh, you're, still, you're still fading. When, okay. Okay, now you're okay. okay. So, okay. Yep, yep, good as gold. Keep going. So the scope of the plan change limited the amendments to address technical issues only and did not result in any substantive changes to the policy direction of the plan. The Council served limited notification on all of the persons directly affected in November 2018. 19 submissions and two further submissions were received. Plan Change 17 was then heard and considered by independent hearing commissioners on the 9th of May 2019 and a decision was issued on the 27th of June 2019. Two appeals were lodged in the Environment Court in relation to the proposed amendment the mapping of the Viaduct Harbour Precinct at 32 Marketplace. The two appeals have since been withdrawn and therefore the plan change can now be approved and made operative under Schedule 1 of the Resource Management Act. This request is procedural as under the RMA this decision cannot be delegated to a subcommittee or council staff. Therefore approval is needed to make plan change 17 fully operative and I'm happy to take any questions. Thank you, Cosette. Um, uh, Councillor Josephine Bartley, do you want to add anything to that? It's pretty straightforward. Um, but if you or Councillor Darby want to add anything, I'll just check quickly then if there's any questions and then uh, we can move the, the resolution. Uh, Councillor Bartley? Uh, nothing to add, Mr Mayor. It really is administrative and procedural, just to tidy things <coughs> up. Thank you. Uh, Councillor Darby, anything you want to add to that? Nothing further. End of process. Great, thank you. Uh, if there are no questions and comments, uh, I'll put the resolution to approve Plan Change 17 and request staff to complete the statutory process. I'll do it on voices. Uh, all those in favour, please say aye. 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 To the contrary, no. Aye. Carried. Um,